Hello YouTubers, here we are again with another video game installment and today we're going to be reviewing Bleach Soul Resurrection. Uh, my brother actually picked this game up on the PlayStation 3. Uh, it was kind of a title that I wanted to play so I stole it from him and so I decided to go ahead and play it out. Um, it is a little different than other, the other ones that I've played. Uh, it gives you control of a character. It's kind of like a platformer. You get to run around, kill things, defeat bosses, and that kind of stuff, which is a lot better than all the fighting games that they've released up to this point. So I have to say that I definitely like this one better than the Wii one, and I like it better than the DS ones just because it's a little more my type of game. So I borrowed this from him and I started playing it, and it gives you a couple of different mission modes, and it gives you a story mode, and then it has like an online mode. Well, of course, you have to go in and play the story mode in order to unlock your characters for your mission modes. So, of course, I went through, played the story mode, and realized that overall, you had like 12 chapters, and that was complete, so it didn't take very long. Uh, the other downfall to it is if you hadn't gotten that far in the series, huge spoilers. They don't let you know that at the beginning of the game, but if you don't know how the series kind of ended, this game will tell you how it did. So be warned, if you don't know, this game is going to tell you. So that was kind of a downfall to it, but if you do know, gameplay is actually kind of fun. I've been doing the mission modes and I've unlocked a bunch of the characters. Um, right now I think I'm about halfway through the missions. And it's not bad, it's kind of keeping my interest just because I like completion and so this allows me to go in I can play any character I've unlocked I can play them on any mission and then it gives you the option to where it grades you on every character you've played on that mission so it's like wants you to 100% complete the game and well I'm all kind of for that so I've kind of kept with it right now does not keep my interest as well as the Gundam one does but it's kind of a nice break because it's a little easier we, um, we being Linda and I, uh, started playing and I think I've only got about 10 hours into this game and as, as I said, I'm already done with the entire story mode and halfway done with the mission mode, so it's kind of a quick game. Uh, it has some longevity play, but overall it's kind of easy and I don't know, if you don't like the series, probably not the game for you. If you do like the series, it is kind of fun. I love the series. I love the characters. Um, and that's such. So, as far as a rating on this game, Techno Hippie rating, 3.5 out of 5. So, it's got an okay rating, but not nearly as good as the other ones. So, let me know what you guys think, how you're doing. If you like the video game reviews, let us know. If you'd like us to review something, if I've played it, i definitely review it for you. Uh, definitely, if you like what we're doing, subscribe, because we would love to have your input. So I guess until then, we'll see you next time.